In this video, I'm going to take you inside my head and share with you exactly what goes through my mind in a live game of Weekend League in Madden 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is all about helping people become the best Madden players that they can become. And so if you want to get better at this game, I just want to encourage you to click the subscribe button at the bottom of the screen. It's completely free to subscribe and if you don't enjoy the content, you can always unsubscribe at a later time. Now in this video, we are running our nickel 335 wide defense guide. Uh, if you want to get that, you can get that in the description. And on offense, we're going to be running the um, New England uh, trips tight end, which is, I believe, one of the best, if not the best offenses in the entire game. So if you want to get the full guides that I wrote and that I filmed um, for both of those, you can get those in the description uh, down below. And we're just going to start off here on defense, which is awesome. I love to start the game on defense. That's my preferred way to play. Um, just because I really, really like to just try to get the stop, but I also really like getting ball at a half. I felt like I feel like you have a lot more control over the game whenever you get the ball at halftime. Uh, it just allows you to have an additional possession in the second half, which is where possessions count the most, in my opinion. So I just really like to I really like it whenever I, I get a situation like what we've got right here, where I have the ball in the second half right off the bat here so anyways my opponent's kind of coming out running some random stuff whenever you're playing a weekend league game it's really important to stay patient i feel like because you just don't know like if you're playing a if you're playing like a competitive game where you kind of know who you're playing and you can scout you can kind of have an idea of like what they're going to do the problem is in weekend league you don't have any of that right you're just coming out you're just trying your best to just kind of contain and try to see figure out what the tendencies are on the first drive so you see here we're going to get him into a fourth down and two situation and what i like to do in a fourth down and two situation honestly is i'm just going to play basic coverage especially the first uh in the first drive obviously a stop is big but i just want to be able to understand exactly what are his routes where is he going to go like right there we get a lucky stop honestly kind of lucky i feel like he made a bad read we were standing right there but also we didn't um animate at the ball like i wanted to but we're able to get the stop, which is huge. So now we're up a possession. And so what you're going to notice is the way that I like to play is I never like to waste uh, possession. I never like to um, be in a position where I'm going to you know, cause myself to not have points uh, when I have guaranteed points. So as you can see right here with the ball on the 41 yard line, if I get like five to 10 yards, it's pretty much a guaranteed field goal. So you're going to see that right off the bat, I'm going to go to the base just to kind of see, you know, what's he got. And here's the thing about uh, halfback quick base, just real quick. Most people can stop it like once, but it's the question is like, can you stop it over and over and over again? So like, I don't think he's going to be able to stop this with this specific style defense. It almost seems like he's in one, four, six. So we're just going to run it again here and just kind of see like, what's his strategy. Now he's showing that he's going to run man coverage. So we have some we have some dots that we like to use uh, when people like to run man coverage. I love this little concept right here. I think this is one of the most simple, but at the same time, one of the most effective concepts for man coverage um, if he is running it. And we've got the back out of the backfield on that nice little angle route. And as you can see right there, Rodgers does a great job, gets the ball out of his hands and gets a nice little first down. That's huge. So now we're in a guaranteed field goal. We have a guaranteed field goal. So it's really, really important in my opinion, uh, whenever you have a guaranteed field goal, to play a little bit more conservative. This is just how I like to play because I know I get ball at the second half. So I'm kind of honestly in a pretty good position right here. So you're gonna see, I'm gonna go to this delay drag. Rogers kind of sold right there. I have noticed that Rogers is not the, not his throw on the run for whatever, I don't know if it's his rate. I don't think it's his rating, but his like throw on the run is not the best. So we're gonna go to one of my favorite reads, um, especially if my opponent um, is running a lot of like man heavy blitzes. So if he blitzes me, I've got this nice little quick out route. This really simple little read. This right here, that read right there is one of the number one reasons why I like this offense. That read right there is so simple, but at the same time, it is so dang effective. It's really, really hard for the defense to consistently be able to stop that. Um, here I'm gonna put Calvin over there, and then I'm gonna put um, I'm gonna leave CD Lamb. I'm actually, yeah, I should leave CD Lamb there. So now you're gonna see we're gonna get into a like third down and one type of situation. 
So what I like to do in these situations, if I can get to the right audible, is I like to come out in I type. Uh, and we're just gonna, honestly, we're just gonna take a time out. So we're just gonna let this thing run. And then we're gonna take a time out at the like one second mark. But the reason why I like to do this, um, the reason why I like to come out in I tight, uh, it's just to kind of see how he's gonna defend me in a situation like this. Like we're kind of in a good spot, honestly. Like, you know, if we don't get a, if we don't get the first down, like it's not a bad, it's not the end of the world. You know, we're still gonna be able to go about our business and get our three points and have the opportunity to get back on defense. I feel like our defense, um, just kind of based on the first drive and the tendencies that he was showing, he didn't show any like major thing I need to like super, super concern about. So we're just gonna try to hit this stretch right here. And unfortunately we didn't get the first down. It's actually kind of sucks because I feel like we should have got it. So I'm actually gonna go for this. Uh, I'm not gonna go for this. Like I said, I don't wanna take away time. I don't wanna take away free points. But what I do wanna do is I just wanna at least see what he's gonna do. So if you look here, this is showing me kind of his defense. So he's got this like three, four bear or three, four even look to it. So that's just something that I can know for the future that he likes to cover zero blitz basically is what we're seeing. That's like his kind of, his, his um, oh gosh, what's the word? His tendency. Uh, so his tendency is cover zero blitz in these situations. So now I can like take that, like kind of register that thought. And then I can just come in here and take my three and get back on defense. Cause again, we get ball at halftime. I cannot stress out. If I didn't get ball at halftime, I'd probably go for that. Um, but because I get ball at halftime, I'm gonna just take my three and play really, really simple. Now, really quick, I wanna to talk to you and take a second to talk to you guys about my true fan membership. If you don't know or haven't heard what my true fan membership is, it's an exclusive uh, membership that is basically only for people who I would say are my true fans. And so if you consider yourself a true fan of the channel, I wanna encourage you to sign up for it. There's a link in the description down below that you can sign up for, uh, for it with. And what you get is you get three exclusive videos every single week that are super, super high level and in depth. So I can't share those videos kind of publicly because it just, most people honestly won't even understand what I'm talking about. So these are for like high, high level. If you wanna get really, really good at the game and you wanna take a deep dive into Madden 21, I would encourage you to sign up for the True Fan membership. It's literally an amazing uh, deal. You get three videos every single week, one exclusive offensive meta update, one exclusive defensive meta update, and then one exclusive high level where we actually analyze and dissect a pro player, his gameplay and his scheme. So you can get access to all of that content just for five bucks a month. So really cheap and uh, you can get that in the description. So literally you just sign up for it. It comes right to you. It's the best thing that I, it's the best product that I have in my opinion. It's the best deal. Um, and so if you haven't got it yet, I would encourage you to get it. It's just a good deal right here. Um, he kind of alternates between pass and run out of the set. So just going to see, and he does. Yep. Yeah. So you see, that's a tendency. So you start to see like, we're kind of taking, we're kind of registering. Okay. He, you know, when he comes in single back wing, wing tight, he runs and then he passes. If he comes back out in single back wing tight. It's likely that he's going to pass. Anytime someone, uh, anytime I play a game against someone and they're an under center, I will user rush them until they prove to me that they can consistently beat it. Um, and right there, that sucks. That is terrible. I had the tackle in the backfield and just messed up and he got a free touchdown out of that. So honestly, not too concerned. Um, I just feel like I can't, I don't know. I mean, I don't know if that's a good stick on him, bad stick on me. A mixture of both but I feel like you know what that's not a big concern I mean we're gonna be okay so it is what it is he's gonna take his three now I will say that the one good thing about what just happened is we get the ball at half and we get the ball right now so we could double up so ideally it's this ideal that the next time he touches the ball it should be 17 to 7 ideally um, if we do, if we do our job on the offensive side, that's what the reality is going to be. So that's going to be our big goal here, um, to just try to simply, you know, work up and down the field. Now you're seeing this right here. This defense is, um, I think this is three, four bear. Um, so I'm actually going to do this just in case it is. 
And we're gonna motion this running back to the left just to just to kind of help with the pass protection. So we're blocking seven. And we're just gonna have to throw it away. So yeah, he's literally just gonna blitz his whole team and pray. That's gonna be his strategy. So that's awesome. Um, if we don't score a one play touchdown off of this, we're we are we're just not um, not doing what we need to do. So okay, so he's just gonna run man. But I'm trying to think of what I want to. Oh, crossing out. So yeah, this is this is like my favorite defense. If they're gonna blitz you, this is like the D. Ugh, I don't know, man. I don't know how that got there. Uh, um, this guy is something else. I don't know. I don't know how that guy. I mean, what he did was he auto. I mean, it's, I guess it's a good move. I feel like it's. I don't know. Rogers underthrew it. Um, I had a massive. I had a massive like step on him to the outside, and Rogers completely sold me out on that one. So now he's going to come back, and I guarantee you it's just going to be run every play. If he's smart, honestly, he'll run the ball and take his three. That That's what he should do just because he's kind of borrowed. I mean, he's on borrowed time, in my opinion. Like, the defense is not – I don't know. We'll just see. We'll just see. I mean, I've thrown – I threw a pick, so it is what it is. I had the step on him. I just – I think I pass-led that. Instead of passing in it, I should have pass-led that to the outside is basically what I'm trying to say. So, anyways, all right, here we go. He, he should throw here. He's on a throwing down because he runs and then throws every time. So you should see a throw, and we're going to rush the crap out of him. Here, just coming in. Okay, good. Let's see. I cannot believe I threw that interception. That's so annoying. He's in, like, the worst possible defense to defend that route, and somehow the corner matched onto him and got it. All right, let's see here. I think he's an ace. Okay, a little quick out. Okay, all right. Wow, this is something. Okay. Oh, man, I can't believe he just scored a touchdown on a route like that. That's such a bad route. Like, he has no ability on him or anything. He is, this guy is, this guy is one of the weirdest Madden players I've ever played. Um, man. So now, <laughs> we still want it to be 17 to 14 <laughs> at half. We need to go down and score. We have to score on this drive. Like, it's critical. Uh, if we get three, it's like, eh, it's okay. But clearly we, clearly he's proven that he can throw an out route to a tight end. So uh, we really got to watch out for that tight end out route. Apparently five yard out routes to a tight end are the best man beater in Madden 21. So I uh, just don't really understand why that worked. That just kind of baffles me, but anyways. Um, okay, so what we're going to do right here is, honestly, we're going to do this. So we got an out and up on that backside, and that should. So we beat man cover drive, no, yeah. All right, so we'll give him the ball, give him another opportunity to be able to screw it up. Let's see if we can at least get two points here. This is a big two-point conversion. It's not a big one, but I mean it's it's a it's a it's a decent sized deal. It's not like a major deal, but uh, we need to get on aggressive. There. So we'll see what he comes out in. Um, we probably are going to go PAFB slide. It's my favorite play in this situation. Yeah. Oh yeah, we're gonna go PA. So we should be able to get out of the pocket with Rogers here. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, dude. Like, come on. Oh, the crosser had so many steps on him and he stopped running the back of the end zone like that. Ugh. This guy is getting some some mad luck. So when you're playing somebody like this, that they're just kind of getting random stuff, random stuff, right? Random halfback dive, house call. Random little tight end out route, house call. Random lurk over the middle that wasn't, he had no outside position whatsoever and has had two interceptions as a result of that. When you're playing somebody like that, the tendency is to get over aggressive. Um, it's really, really important that you don't. So like right here, 
You know, it, it's literally every. I mean, I can literally tell you what he's gonna do every single time. So we just have to watch for this tight end quick throw. Um, here he's going to gun Trey, so he's actually gonna act like he can throw the ball. So we'll see if we can put some defense. Nope, he's gonna go inside zone, and he's gonna get 50 yards. Are you serious? Are you serious? Oh my goodness! Gun Trey inside zone, best run of the game. Oh man, it's these kind of people that are just so annoying to play. He's on a passing down, so he's gonna throw, obviously. Fumble. How's that not a fumble? How's that not a fumble? Oh my goodness, Madden. He's up 14 9. He's winning. He's not losing this game. Oh, and Madden's still giving him the fluky. Alright. Um. Okay, here we go. Single back wing tight. Um, I really want him to put the ball in the air because I feel like if he throws, like he's screwed. Let's see if he's willing to throw it. No, nope. just gonna run. Just gonna run and pray and he's gonna get, oh my gosh. And he ran out of time, praise God. Okay, finally something, something went our way. Oh my goodness, dude. This is one of the weirdest players I've ever played. So like I said, ideally the score should be uh, 17 to 14 or you know, that, that's what we're going for here. So um, so if we, get the, if we get the touchdown, we'll probably go for two. I just don't, I, I don't even know. How do we even score? He was running man coverage and we burned him again. Yeah. So ideally we get, we, we need to get, we need to at least, man, we, we just need to get seven. That's about, I mean, we just need to get seven. So, um, just the way he's playing is really unfortunate. Kind of how he's playing. So we'll see what he does here to this coverage. If he audibles out, you see there's the check. Uh, I had the post. It's all right. This is a weird, freaking weird defense, man. Oh, man. Weird, weird, weird. Okay. Um, since he will audible to, we don't want him to audible to cover three. We want to keep him in man, ideally. So, um, do an out route there. I'm trying to think what I want to do with triangle. Let's just take triangle. Let's just leave triangle on his route. It's fine. Ah, uh, he covered both. Uh, this is one of the weirdest all right we need to go to um uh, see the problem is if we go to pa shot see that's the problem is we, we get this Run this comes up here and he gets a pick oh my gosh man like this is so bad Oh my gosh, he ran cover two man stock and picked us off. He ran cover two. That's how that's how bad of a route combo we just put on the field. He ran cover two stock and picked us off. Oh my goodness, man. This guy is terrible. Thank you. Told you every single time. It's an out route every time. Told you guys, every single time. He's either going to run the ball or he's going to run a tight end out route. And I will say, like, that's tendency. That's picking up on tendency cues and things. Like, that is what it is. We get a big play on defense. We honestly needed it. We're playing terrible on offense. We're way too worried about a stupid 3-4 bear. Um, that is not even a good defense to be in. So, anyway, we're, we're, we're playing really, really poorly. And we're allowing, allowing way too much fluke to pop off. So, anyway, good play on the defensive side of the ball. Now we need to score. Uh, on this two-point conversion. Um, Rodgers makes a throw of his career. And that's one of my favorite red. That's why that's such a good red zone play. Is if they do run man coverage. That the delayed drag routes to tight ends are so good. Like they're so good. They're good against man, against zone. I think they're better than the delay fade personally. Um, they're just more consistent. They're just more consistent. The delay fade is more of a bigger, you get a chance for a bigger play, but it's a great read for the red zone. So anyways, we get the pick six and now, um, now you've got to think, um, 
he's gonna run here. Throws right into my guy again. And instead of picking the ball off my guy that's a 99 overall corner. Yeah, safety, he's gonna get out of that. All right. Right here, half off, drag. And we'll just go hit him. Yep, good. This guy is just playing like one of the weirdest. He's running one of the weirdest offenses I've ever seen. Okay, uh, here we're gonna use a flat zone. We're actually gonna run cover two to the bunch side on this. Cover two is a pretty decent. There we go. That should be a pick. Yep. So there he ran. It's actually a not, it's actually not a bad play call. He ran verticals, um, kind of anticipating that we would be in either a, a heavy pressure or something where the middle of the field was a little bit more open. Uh, and, and obviously we weren't. So 17-14 with ball. Somehow we find ourselves in this position. Um, we played so bad, like so bad. Okay, this is the play we need to have called uh, right here. This play right here is what we, we should have been in. We'll see how this works out for us. And that, see, that's the, that's where I threw the pick last time. Didn't throw it this time, so. Um, yeah, he's, he audible to cover three every time. So, um, I, I will say, like, the guy has some tendencies, and we're picking up on the tendencies, and that's not, you know, that, that's good. That, that's good offense. That is what it is, so. Anyways, here, I'm going to go to one of my, this is, this is quickly becoming one of my favorite setups. Um, and, of course, I don't know how that linebacker got through. I, I such a bad, like, ugh, just such a bad deal. Uh, what I like to do, and here we're going to do it out of uh, PA. I would like my tight end, I would like my tight end to release. I put him on a check and release. I would like him to actually release. So right there, I put my tight end on a check and release. He didn't release. Um, and somehow this guy finds himself still in this game. Uh, so just absolutely ridiculous. I, I'm trying to think of what I should go to. And I honestly, I'm honestly gonna do this. So we're gonna put a fade out there this time. If I can motion, I'd love to motion. Thank you, Madden. So we're gonna do double crossers and a fade. So if he's uncovered, yeah, should shade. Nice little dot over the middle. Now, this actually is a, a little bit of a, a deliberation and decision. I'm gonna go for it. I just don't. Unfortunately, Rogers is tired. I just don't think he can stop us if we run this play. So we're gonna go to PA shot wheel. We're gonna run it a little bit differently though. Um, if I can get it off. So we've got a crosser, we've got a delay fade, and we've got a, a play action. So we know he's gonna run man coverage. So we're just gonna roll out here. And there we go, Calvin making a huge play over the middle. Completely knew exactly the defense he was gonna be in because he doesn't, he literally does the same thing every time. So um, I, I feel like this guy's not a bad player. He just didn't change his tendency whatsoever. He's gonna go ahead and concede to us as soon as we complete one pass against his man coverage. So anyways, thanks for watching. If you want the offense or the defense that I ran in this video, you can get them in the description.